guys. Surprise, I'm wearing white today. It's always so funny because you know you wear a certain color a lot when someone sees you in a different color that's not that color. They comment and notice it right away. It's just funny to me. It's the um, one of the girls that works at the anthropology that I go to somewhat often. When I was in there the other day, I was wearing a shirt that was not black and she commented on it. I know you guys always comment when I don't wear black too, but you guys see me a lot more often than she does and she was like oh you're not wearing black today and it made me laugh so today we're gonna talk for a couple minutes about call outs and how they impact influencers and most of the time they don't impact influencers but once in a while you'll come across a situation where an influencer is called out and it actually makes them change what they have been doing or what they did and I think a good example of this is the situation with Brianna Kay so she posted on her Instagram story that she was changing her patreon to include a $1 tier and that all of the proceeds will be going to an organization of the community's choice every month and you know I didn't see any fine print so uh, here's the thing that I've learned with influencers if there is stuff being sent to an organization I will believe it when I see it because unfortunately there have been so many come out and say I'm giving a donation to this organization and it's either proven to be a lie or it's called into question and the person cannot prove receipts or show you know proof or whatever that the money actually went to this organization so unfortunately some influencers are just infamous for not doing what they say they're going to do and I'm not saying that's what Brie is going to do but if she got called out for this and now she is going to send the proceeds to an organization you know I, I will wait to see more on that because trust in influencers doesn't necessarily go hand in hand at least with me so let's talk about the call out the you know calling people out for things like this first of all I want to sort of state my opinion on patreon because most people understand what the issue at hand is but there are a few that for some reason think that the issue here is that she is a patreon that's not the issue Get a Patreon, get your coin, get your bag. I always say that, but get your bag in an ethical manner and using mental health for clicks and views and claiming that you are providing a safe place for people to share their mental health struggles when it's not safe, all that someone has to do is pay to get past your little paywall and that can happen within two minutes of putting in a credit card number and gaining access to this little safe place that you have online and the bigger problem at hand here is the fact that Brie is not qualified to hand out advice to people that are struggling and on top of it she has proven the point that she is not qualified to have these kinds of conversations by stating that alcoholism is something that you can easily overcome by just not having alcohol in the house and that is the most idiotic one of the most idiotic things that I have heard in a long time and you know being on YouTube you come across tons of just things that have no merits 
things, you know, people that are saying things that just make zero sense and anyone that can look at things from a logical viewpoint would have trouble reconciling. So that statement about the getting rid of the alcohol and putting an ED above alcoholism as far as difficulty, just what she did there was she not only insulted anyone who is an alcoholic or has dealt with addiction, but it also hit people who have had family members and friends that have been affected by alcoholism, addiction, and it's just all just it's so out of line and it is so ridiculous that she said that so the whole issue nobody cares that she has a patreon that's not the at least for me you know i can speak for myself in this situation many people have patreon that's very normal on youtube to create a patreon in order to generate extra revenue if that's you know what you're after it's all good. It's the problem that she had a $50 tier and she wanted to exploit mental health as a way to gain monetarily. It wasn't a thing of, you know, having privacy and giving people a safe corner for them to share their struggles. And, you know, this whole like, oh, if you need a prayer, let me know thing that, you know, she likes to push out to. I just don't, I don't subscribe to the idea that any of these influencers actually care about what you're going through. I don't buy it. I don't believe that they are deeply impacted by any of the stories that they are told. I don't buy into it. And that's my personal opinion. So this whole thing, I don't believe that Brie was expecting the outlash response that she received to announcing the Patreon. I don't think that she was expecting it. I don't believe that she planned for it to go south and it did because, you know, it, it's ridiculous. And she deserves to be called out for it. You know, I, this whole idea that nobody can take criticism on YouTube is crazy to me. You know, I've had, I have had a criticism given to me and I've listened to some of it. You guys know, I've talked about this before. There's also a lot of it that I have ignored because it is asinine. So for for someone to come to you with some legit criticism about how you are exploiting mental health and downplaying the effects that alcoholism has on people, that is, criti that is criticism that is very valuable. So the aftermath of her being called out has created It's created a couple things. It has caused her to add the dollar tier to Patreon. It has also caused her to delete that video where she, it has caused her to delete that video where she was talking about moving back to Ohio, even though they're just visiting. So that whole video is gone. And I don't know about the video on Patreon again because I am not on her Patreon, but I have seen sort of the details of it. I will say I give her credit for, you know, adding the dollar tier and actually sort of looking at this for what it is. However, the fact that she had to be absolutely called out from subscribers, people on YouTube, people in comment sections, people on her Patreon, you know, I still cannot stand the fact that she kicked out that one person from Patreon just for 
you know, sharing their story about their own alcoholism and how it affects them, when they hear someone like Brie downplay the effects of alcoholism and the difficulties of it, she has acknowledged some of this, but I believe that a lot of the people that see this for what it is, they are not necessarily going to be so quick to just forget about the things that have happened. And so I'll give credit where credit is due. And the credit goes towards her saying that she's going to donate the money, even though we don't know if it's actually going to be donated until the, the time comes. Secondly, she added that dollar tier, but you're still putting your mental health behind a paywall and selling this as a safe place. So as much as I want to give credit, I also can't really give too much because you're still in the same scenario. It's just a cheaper way and you're allegedly going to give the money to an organization. So I don't know. Doesn't sit well with me. I don't care for it. And I think, you know, some people will look at this and say, well, why, why is it any of your business what Brianna Kay is doing with her own platform? And it is everyone's business what influencers do when they are exploiting things for money and giving advice under false, you know, a lie, basically. And that's the world of commentary. Now, if I came to you guys and said, I'm going to open up a Patreon and we're going to talk about really intimate details of my childhood and you guys can share your stories about your childhood and I'll give you advice on, you know, whatever. And I had a $50 tier on there. You better guarantee there would be a few people first in line to give me the ratio of a lifetime if I tried to roll that out on my platform. Because you are trying to create a safe platform for people to share very private moments of their life, but you are charging them to do so. I would never charge people to do that. I think it's absolutely gross and unacceptable in my opinion. So this is not a, oh, well, it's being mentioned because it's Brianna Kay. It's being mentioned because it's wrong. And if any YouTuber did it, the commentary channels would be picking this up. And I sort of look at my channel as a way where I can elevate voices of subscribers of these people, of these mommy influencers, where their voices can be heard. Because a lot of times I am echoing the grievances and issues that you guys have and I am more than happy to use my platform to elevate voices of people who feel misguided, taken advantage of, disappointed, aggravated. I will use my platform to make those voices louder and we can always, always, always have a conversation about it. So either way, I hope all of my jumble mess of thoughts made sense in this video as I always do. I just, I'm totally okay with giving credit where credit is due. We're talking about a more serious topic here that should not be put behind a paywall. And, you know, if you're going to talk about your own issues, do not downplay others' struggles while you are doing so. Because you are discounting their story their life, their path, their trauma, and their history in order to tell your own. And that's why it's a problem. 
So please leave your updated thoughts down below. I really want to hear from you guys as always. So for now, if you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.